Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks Xbox Edition. I am Knight in Phoenix. Today we are taking out the Type 59, the uh, Tier 8 Chinese medium tank. It's a premium tank. Oh, the map is South Coast. It is an encounter battle. And we are top tier in the game. So in counter battles, do we uh, move towards the flag just in case the enemy starts capping, or do we go down an alternate flank and keep the enemy from flanking us? Well, for me it really depends on the vehicle and the map. Um, if it's a large map and you're in a slow vehicle, you should probably start heading towards the flag area. If you're on a smaller map with a relatively speedy vehicle, you can certainly take a little bit of time and check out the flanks, make sure your team isn't going to start getting shot in the rear. So I choose to do the latter in this one. The uh, Type 59 has got pretty good speed. Um, this particular map, it's not that large, it's not a real small map, but there are a lot of different um, directions that you can actually get to the flag so it's not like you've got to end up from one end of the map go all the way around there's a plenty of ways to cut through this map to get over to the base or the flag if you need to so we will go south along the east side of the map um, once we get all the way down to the south we'll start heading west and clear out anything that may be sitting back by their spawn points and you know, we can see it appears we have how uh, you know, looking at the mini-map, I'm not saying anybody's really heading for the flag, but we've got plenty of people sitting up on that ridge who are close enough they can get to the flag if needed. So we have a 5916 who looks like he was going to attempt to flank us. Um, we put a rather quick end to that plan. Uh, we did put a shot into him, and for some reason we have two assisted damage ribbons already. I mean, that Cromwell was certainly far out in front of me. Why he doesn't have the ribbons, I don't know. Maybe he does have some. But as you come around the, uh, the bend here, the Cromwell does take a pretty major hit. He is um, <laughs> less than one shot. He's definitely a one shot now. And you may be asking, what is less than a one shot? Well, less than a one shot to me is you're so low on your hit points that you could actually kill yourself if you take the wrong bump at the wrong time the wrong way. Alright, so we have the uh, IS up here. I believe there's a Tiger up here as well. We've put a couple of shots into the IS at this point. Come around here, put 312 onto the Tiger. Looks like the IS may have fallen back. It's going to use the Tiger for some cover. Yeah, and that was just a horrible shot. I thought I was going to move forward just enough for my gun to pop up above that corner, and it didn't. So we go from 312 damage to 257, pretty much the same shot. Not that a higher roll would have killed him, it's just interesting how that works, I guess. Alright, now we have a uh, ISU 152, looks like he wants to get into the mix here. We do a uh, auto lock, put some damage on him. Now, nobody wants to get hit by a 152, play a little cautiously here. I think I do take a hit from him at some point here, but I don't think he's using a big gun. Well, I actually just saw the tracer, it sounded pretty big. So maybe I do take a hit, but maybe it's not from him. And I just noticed that after that uh, first bounce on the uh, 152, I did switch to premium. Was it necessary? I don't really know. Um, I guess my mentality is when I'm fighting somebody who can take three quarters of my health in one shot, um, and I bounce a shot on him, I'm switching to premium. Alright, so we saw that IS did come back out. We took him out of the game. Uh, we do another final shot on the 152, take him out of the game. The Tiger's still sitting back here. I did switch back to standard ammo. Never had issues penetrating a Tiger, so no need for anything special here. We go our little pack of guys picking away at his health there. If one final shot, we take him out of the game. Now I did lose my driver in the process. Um, Still damaged the farm here, so I figured I'd better uh, fix him. Now, yeah, I ran into the 152, um, but you got to consider, you know, I just brought my driver back from the dead, right? Basically, he's a zombie at this point, right? So we'll cut him a little bit of slack. So I, I think basically through most of the game, I've heard the uh, <laughs> siren wailing. Um, 
I think I saw for a very brief moment in time um, where we actually did get somebody else uh, a friendly into the base and stop the siren, but uh, that didn't last very long. So they're down to uh, one tank, a T-29 uh, uh, snapshot there. We were surprised it didn't lock on his turret, but do a little bit of damage. And numerous friendlies taking shots at him. He's not going to last much longer. We do get another shot in. We're going to aim in here for one final shot, hopefully. And he's dead. So game over, man. Chalk up another win. And now, we'll take a look at the post-game stats. So this is the game um, where I finished Road to the Top 6. The Road to the Top 6. Uh, get 80,000 XP on your Tier 8 vehicles. Uh, the reward was 500,000 silver and two times, I believe two times on the uh, experience. So that's why we got 606,000 premium, 5,127 experience. Uh, did three kills, just under 3,000 damage, and we do take first place in this one. And pretty good results considering I think most of my stuff were auto locks. Um, 16 shots, 15 hits, 14 penetrations. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You will get notifications from YouTube, letting you know when I post new videos. And as always, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.